What are some of the things you want to do that you haven't done? Me? <laughs> not yet, because everything I want to do, I do them. So there's nothing, so you're, you're okay, this is it? Have you no, climbed no, no, a mountain no, no, no. before? No, 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 like, what I want to do now... Have you budget jumped? No, I right? don't want to do that now, sitting thinking it. But if I really want to do it, I'll set up a time and I'll go and do it. Do it. Yeah, I'll do yeah. it. Like, that's the person yeah. I am. If, yeah. I, if, if that's something I want to do, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. But the thing is, it, time, the reason why I'm turning you up on it yeah. is we make too many excuses yeah. about why we shouldn't do it. Because yeah. it's, oh, because of this, or because I'm so busy. Okay. But if I no, want to do it, no, I'll do no, it. No, no, I'm not, I'm not when it. Yep, no. but you haven't done if it I, though. Because I don't want to do it, that's what I'm saying. That but if I want to do it, I'll make it. So, so have you lived all your fantasies? Oh, <laughs> I lived all my fantasies. Yes. I, oh God, I had a lot of fantasies before I got into this marriage. So you see, the marriage thing, the marriage thing. <laughs> yeah, you, that was no, but the fantasies. Into that, that was perfect. No, it's because the, the fantasies, you wouldn't want to know what my fantasies were. I want to know, I want to know, know. Sure. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, all the fantasies that I had, I had them, I experienced them, I did them because I it's not a fantasy. Claudia. I could have done when I was married, trust me. So I've done Claudia, them. You didn't, yeah. you didn't before you got married. Huh? Tell me, that's what a man yeah, does. Like, like, have you lived all your fantasy stuff? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, when it comes to sex, I, I only with my husband, my fantasies um, as to partners, how many partners, I've, nev I've, I've never done that. But so what's yeah. stopping you? Is it because of marriage? You see, that's the thing. You're well, not no, no, but when, no, I, I she vowed she to, be, to, to be, you know, uh, um, faithful to my husband. Mm -hmm. um, although I've actually thought of many ways to kill him, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> I think on a, my pillow is my weapon because he snores as well. And I just wanted to go like, die, boy, die. But it's not okay. <laughs> So no, I can't see. When I kill him, then maybe I'll cheat. When, right. But those fantasies, yes. But other when things. When you kill him, it won't be cheating anymore because then you'll be. They won't know it's me. No, I, but I you, have my. When, you, when you kill him, it won't be cheating anymore because then you'll be free. You'll be, you'll I'll be free. Be free to then do I can do it. <laughs> so, so now you can divorce him. I, can, I can't divorce him because then there'll be a reason why. But if he's dead, he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your fantasy. There you go. That's okay. a fact. I have that fantasy every time. <laughs> <laughs> but what's yours? It's like I live it. Um, I I seriously want to skydive. Okay. It's one of the things I really I've done want that. To do. I'm sure you have. Tandem but, um, jumping is great. Yeah. And yeah. That too. I, so I want. You, I want to. Are you going to do it or? I will do you, it. Yeah. And again, I'm one of the women who puts some of these things off. I love mm. to travel. That yeah. I don't compromise on. If I yeah. have to, if I have to travel, like there, there, there were times, God, I used to travel every weekend, every yeah. other weekend, if I get yeah. at the least chance. Um, I'm not doing so much of that now because there's a lot. Yeah. Again, that's the excuse. I don't, yeah. A lot I'm doing and I feel like I have a growing daughter, I want to be around and stuff. But I definitely uh, want to skydive. But it's not an excuse though, because to you have that lifestyle, mm -hmm. you need to do the work you're doing. Yeah. So it's not an excuse. It's about I think, managing I think, your time I think what it is is, you I think I'm manage. scared. You're a woman. Yeah. I think yes. I'm scared. That's, I think what, that's I mean. what it is. There is something in the back of your head that always yeah. tells you, Okay, because I'm scared. Okay, I'm busy today. I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, okay, I may, I may not, you know. I'm scared. But for I'm, me, when I, I think so it, scared. I do it. I don't even, you know, I remember I was sitting home one day and I felt, ah, I want to have a tattoo. So I wanted to tattoo my head. So, you know, because I felt like it. Stupid. But that's the kind of thing I do. Yeah. And then, I mean, I got up one day and I thought, okay, I want to go skydiving. And I did. Mm. I mean, because, and I'm very, very busy. I have five I children. mean, I, I used to do that when I was younger. There was yeah. one time, one afternoon, so I, had, I had a girlfriend and you were myself. Younger. We went to Soho and I got a piercing on my belly button. Oh, I, th I was going to say. In I the afternoon. It was a hot afternoon. You didn't do it there? No, I didn't. You should have I just wanted, I wanted that. And you know the funny thing? After a week, my skin rejected the, oh, so the you know, metal, so it just fell off. But mm. it was one of those things that we were so happy, yeah. we were so proud of ourselves. Like, eh, Melinda, I said, yes, yeah. we did it. You but know? one thing I want to ask is, after childbirth, does your sexual drive disappear? Cause did yours disappear? Um, um, yeah, it did for a little while. Mm. Um, after number three, I wasn't, um, mm. I wasn't feeling it at all. Mm. Um, I was really actually just, my mind was close to, I don't know if because I had a boy, mm. okay. but you had two boys and, two and you have a girl. Yeah. Um, did you feel like that at all? Because no, no, I don't. I you don't okay? Feel, yeah. Yeah. She's like, you, yeah. You, you're always ready for it, right? 
Well, yeah, and I, I don't know as well. I mean, you, you had, look you like had you're natural, so naughty. You had, you had natural <laughs> birth, right? I had natural, yeah. Yeah, so maybe because a friend of mine told me this as well, but she had natural birth, and she said that after she went through all of that, you know, baby coming from the yeah. BJJ and that, she didn't, she wasn't really doing, you know. But I had every, you know, I had a cesarean for all my three kids, so we stopped. I hear once you do one, it follows. <laughs> that is cesarean, but that's that's painful. Which With one is painful? Having a cesarean? No, not really. No, no. no. So your thing was always, because number one, it was like really hard because yeah. it took me three days. You said yours took you like what, um, 28 hours. Mine was to, like to 72. Push, to yeah, yeah, no, 23 hours. I was in labor for 23 hours. Yeah, mine was like, my first one was three days. Yeah. And, yeah. and I tore badly. I mean, I'm talking so, openly. Yeah. So you can tell why you were like so, that. Because my yeah, but so maybe because the, oh, I was going to tear. And did you tear backwards or forward? Forward. Ooh. Not backward. And they, they sewed it back. Thing. They sewed it back and together. They, they do. That's, that's what is painful, not a cesarean. Because after you have a cesarean, like four hours, you're okay. You can even walk down the stairs and everything. And baby, yeah. come in five minutes, please. Give me a cesarean any day. Woo. Really? And now I have right, the right. I can't, like, mixing. I can't. Like the pushing and it's the... Like design. Are you going to have any more kids? No, 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 no. Three is fine. Oh, God, yeah, I'm so She's done. had a cesarean, each of them. That's, it's not. I know somebody who bad. has done it six times. Well, yeah, now they can do up to, what, five and six, yeah. Because yeah. my doctor said, yeah. They do it so well. Like, you wouldn't even notice. That so I guess you tied your tubes. Does your husband know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was an agreement you, all, oh, you yes, both had. Yes, yes. You know some woman will do it without tied her tubes? Yeah. Yeah. You've t you have tied your tube? No. no, she's but she's you have tied. I'm young. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> well, you're not young, she but you see. I'm young. <laughs> I'm young. I'm young. <laughs> and you are. Yeah. You're sexy too. She ain't. So I mean, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> she's got to do it. She, but she's I don't. got the snip. How did that feel though? No, I didn't feel any pain because they did it whilst they're doing the cesarean. So after yeah, they take so the baby out, they do that and then they see you up. Yeah. So you, you don't menstruate? Right? Oh, you do, you do. You still menstruate? You do, just that okay. you, you can't have any more kids. Yeah. Yeah. So but now I've heard of cases where women have had kids. It's called free know. shooting. That's what my doctor said. Free shooting. Like yeah. that. So yes, now you can yes, just friend, shoot. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> he told me, do you want to have the free shooting? I was like, oh, what's that? He said, three kids? You want to have more kids? I said, oh, you mean free shooting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> My worry is that in these parts, again, we think that the ultimate is having kids, mm -hmm. having your husband, keeping a home. And you know, even in the West, people just go to sperm banks, they get yeah. sperm donors, okay, have yeah. their babies, oh, and then they move yes. on. Over here, there's a lot of women who don't want to get married. But then the pressures of society, yeah. you know, would, would, would want them to go and marry somebody and they're not happy. Do we even have sperm banks in Ghana? Do you know? Any? No, That's we have. Um, well, no, I don't know about spam bag, but I know about the fertility clinics. Yeah. They do have the ovaries and the eggs and things like that. You so you can do surrogacy like in Ghana, no? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, you can. I don't see an African man yeah. wanting to go and jerk off and have his sperm. <laughs> frozen for anybody. He'd rather have the woman at the other end. I mean, I can't, it's such a, it's such a way of thing. No, but I think, I think, I think everyone should be allowed to, to make that choice if you, if you want to. If you, don't want, if you don't want to end up with a man and you just want to be by yourself and you want to have a oh, child, yes, of course. you should be yeah. allowed to. But I think over here, it's something that is frowned upon. It's a taboo. You can't do that. You know, you can't. It's, a, it's a shame. But I yeah. think eventually things will change a little bit. Mm. Because even now, you know, I have girlfriends who are like 34, 30, they've never been married. And it's okay. Like, they just want to have kids. It's, you know, it's okay. Their parents mm. are not, you know, they're successful. It's fine. And I say all the time, you know, I found a perfect guy in my husband. But if it wasn't him, trust me, I wouldn't be married. Yeah. Because I'm mentally, I'm like that. You yeah. know, it's, I've had my kids. I yeah. just want to be successful. I just want to do well. I want my, my I work yeah. it's not about the man because but I found a man who is not fighting with me to be successful yeah he's allowing me to be the woman I want to be yeah. no you know no pressure no, yeah so that's giving me that space to have him in my life still mm. but if he was any other man trust me I'll be gone by now mm. so and I have a lot of women who are, I think things but are changing again, a little bit you may not have you yeah. see it depends on your circumstance sometimes hindsight is is you know 2020 because we could just sit back and say if it wasn't if yeah. it wasn't because you may be like this because your husband is the way he is. is, the way he yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe if you're with somebody who yeah. wasn't that way, yeah. you may have conformed, and that would change no your personality. Way. That you yeah. see, I get, I get, I get. Yeah, what you I mean, mean but I've because you know who you are. He's not my first man I've been with. I've All been right. with those ones, and I know I left. You see, so that's mm. what I'm saying. That I stuck with him ten years because mm. of the person he is. But mm. it's a shame because some women mm. conform to it, yeah. and also yeah. still people feel like you know they have to get married. Mm -hmm. And I tell young, young 
young girls that I work with or they come around me all the time, even my sisters. I said, you know what, it's okay. This social media, your friend is getting married. Everybody wants to be, their wedding to be trending. Really, like, you know, you have to be ready. It's, it's marriage is what you want. It's crazy on social you media understand? now. It is well, this, crazy. Like yeah. the whole, do it for the... For the, yeah, for the, for that's the what's happening. You know, these makeup, days. Like people my wedding, just, uh, trend. Yeah. You make sure you, you mentioned Banana Ija, and you know, it's crazy. But you know, the, thing, yeah. the thing I'm curious to know yeah. is you're saying that you found the perfect husband, the perfect mm. man in your husband. That's nothing haven't like you, a perfect, but no, like well, somebody you can deal with. Of yeah. course. Yeah. So, haven't you met other men? Yeah. I believe you. Haven't you met other men that you're thinking maybe I did this marriage thing too early? No, because I didn't get married too early. I got married when I was 30 years. And also, aside that as well, it took me, I bought my wedding dress two years before I got married. When well, you hadn't met the man? No, when I was him. with him. Okay. You know, he proposed to me, wanted to get married. We bought the wedding dress and it took me two years. I just couldn't bring myself to go to the altar. And he understood it. I mean, my mom was like, hey, are you Uye Beifuana? What is this? A <laughs> woman, a man want to get married yeah. to you. You don't want to, you yeah. keep postponing. I was the one postponing it because I said, you know what? And I was still living abroad. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get married. And then the next minute I want to go and see. But somebody, mentally, I want to be really sure that I want to be with you. And so I, you're I really just sure? Wanna, yeah, 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 yeah. 120%. Of course. No, but I have to ask, yeah. when you were in that process, two yeah. years you were waiting, did you actually cheat or you didn't actually cheat? I did I did you did yeah, yeah. how did yeah. you cope with that well how did you we were cope dating with that? that right yeah we're still yeah. dating even though like we knew we we're gonna get married but I think he allowed me to grow because it's better he you know he is it's okay he left he allowed me to be who and I he knew, to be. does he know you cheated oh during that time yeah I mean we he would ask me but mm. he knew it happened but did he cheat oh I'm sure he did of course did you, did you ever talk did, about yeah. it though did yeah. You guys ever? No, sometimes we do. You know, like yeah. when you, you meet a guy, oh, you know, like, yeah, this guy's like, oh, you did? I said, yes, you think what were we doing? <laughs> you know, like that kind so of thing. So when you saw the, so, did you yeah. ever know the girl? I mean, did you want to know what she looked like? No, I don't go into because... You weren't no, bothered? No, 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 no. No. Oh, okay. No, I think I... No, wow. no, I don't really... I would want to know whether Why? they... Really? Why? Wh whether, what, you know, what the attraction is maybe how Why, different I am yeah, to that how, person. Yeah, Not because different. I want to go and be angry with them. So, yeah. so, so well, I, yeah. I'm guessing you never snooped around to check your husband's phone and never, you, know, like, you, never, you never, never do. Never, I never. mean, sometimes, I mean, I would say, who's calling us, baby? Like, yeah. Oh, I, like, I said, who's calling who's us? Who's calling us, calling? <laughs> I'm not using that. Who's ringing? calling us? <laughs> right? You know, I I, don't you do that? Don't you I have the, never. Don't you have the urge to do that sometimes? Because your husband is quite hot, I must admit. Not his phone, no. No, I... No. I but do you, do you sometimes <laughs> worry that, you know, even when you're pregnant and you have yeah. to go and have the baby and you're leaving you don't him want behind? Me. I'm the sexiest pregnant girl. If everybody saw me, please. If a man is going to cheat, whether you are six-pack or you have... <laughs> you are eight months, they will. You understand? And for me... I tell me, like, for me myself, I say all the time when I was pregnant, m I feel sexier when I'm pregnant than any time. You might you feel know? sexy, but, but then maybe, maybe you don't know, might not it. think, you know. Yeah, but I mean, like, as I say, because like, a man would cheat no matter, you know, mm, you know. So you don't, you, you're, you're, you're so, we're 120% sure that your husband will not do anything behind your back. So you are not, you're so comfortable. No, not to you, know, you know what it is, yeah, like, when you're married and you're going to, like, damage your life and your thinking thinking about what a man is doing it's not about that i yeah. worry about women mm -hmm. who live their life thinking like that you understand mm -hmm. to me it's a partnership you understand mm -hmm. claudia is here i have my kids i have my business i sleep with you you know for me it's marriage is not so serious like that for me mm. my thinking about marriage is really different mm. I, I told you from the beginning i'm not like the traditional kind of thinking girl thinking that oh this is my hand mira, mira. oh this is marriage is not it's like a friend you know he's yeah. my he's my buddy yeah. you understand we hang around we joke around we run around naked it's not a big deal like people who take it so like oh marry that's why they're worried like that she, have understand? you noticed that claudia talks about herself and the third party. Yeah. Which she party? doesn't, it's like a, you know, it's just caught, it's not like this it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, I like talking you to separated my, yeah. yourself from yeah. Claudia. No, yeah, yeah, Claudia. yeah, because, yeah, yeah, Claudia said. Yeah. Claudia, yeah. 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 I just feel like you just trained yourself Mentally. to be, yes, to be that way, which is a beautiful that's, thing. That's 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 give you room to breathe, though. I am curious because you All meet a lot of people. You're always having meetings. Today you had a presentation. I'm sure it was to a All man or to men. Um, is he okay with that? He is. He is, and that's why I said like he doesn't call your phone. Oh, like, no. where are you in the meeting? What meeting? The, who's there? Never. 
You oh. know what? Actually, <laughs> when we were dating, I wish he was like that sometimes because he's never like that. He would never call you to check on you. No, you he's, know, he's not be hiding behind the door. You didn't know that. <laughs> he's behind, behind the door, right? door right? Right. checking if there's a man there. And then pretend he wasn't Maybe. there. Maybe. <laughs> you know, have but you, how spontaneous have you been since you got married? Like, have you just got up one day and said, you know what? I'm going to Ukraine tomorrow morning or I'm going to Ukraine tonight? Oh, I've done that many times. Really? Even oh, with yeah, your husband? Yeah. Did you go alone with your oh, husband? Oh, alone. No, no, I, I do that. But with him, sometimes I do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done crazy things like um, I went to do a gig in Birmingham and I got there and I saw a bike I liked and just bought a bike for 23,000. <laughs> and I just came on the bike, just looked at me thinking, <laughs> okay. So, you know, I, I do things like um, if I'm fed up, I so. just, sorry? You earn your own money as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's the independence. And, and I yeah. just, you know, catch up, say I'm tired. I need to have a break and I'll pack the kids and and I'll get off somewhere. I mean, I, 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 sometimes I wonder if there's ever spontaneity in marriages. Because yeah. you can't just get up and leave. And that's one of the issues I have. Because I feel like there are times that I feel like I, I need to go somewhere. Yeah. And I, I have to answer to somebody all the time. That's, no. a, that's a problem. No, just no, you, know? you know what? Just Every, the way you are, it's exactly how you're going to be in marriage. I don't know why people think that marriage is like something that you just, you know, it's there you and change you're going to and enter. No, it does no. happen. You will ch I, I, some I people just, do change. I mean, yeah. I'm Jocelyn, because she's a yeah. strong woman, as, yeah, as maybe, you know, yeah. as you are, so she, she may say the same. But, you know, a lot of women change. I, I mm. know some really, I have a, a sister who is really strong, strong mind, and then she was being beaten for... 20 years of her marriage oh God. and wow. I would never have known that you know she that was happening because she appeared her. so strong yeah. yes yeah because when you know when we're in she's the one who would tell everybody okay I mean she's only a year older than me but you yeah. know tell everybody you know you do this you do you know yeah, yeah. we, we look at her really. and she yeah. was being beaten yeah. and I remember I've seen her sometimes when she was uh um she'll be changing and I'll see bruises but I thought it was um I thought it was cellulite mm. so I remember we said Belinda we have to go to the gym you know but I didn't know until um, I found out that she was actually being beaten for 20 years wow. of her marriage. Actually, and flew she stayed. Here and I went to find him. I wanted to get into. I told him to meet me at a baba somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was going to fight the little. But yeah, I was. I was did ready did for you, him. Did he, did he meet you? So no, he, he chickened out. That he was. Shit. He was afraid. He chickened out. Yes. He I'm sure that Tony used was like. Men are scared of me. You know, I don't know why. It's little old me, like you know, but I could kick ass though. I, I, I mean, if I need to kick your ass, I will kick your ass. I've, you do and it's some skinny little, you know, ugly thing. Yeah, oh, really? I have to say it's usually like that, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, he didn't. It wasn't deserving of my sister at all. My sister's beautiful. She's yeah. the best looking yeah. one all of us. Mm. And then, and then married this idiot mm. that I gave money to actually to even to start a business. I mean, I never got paid back. Maybe I should have him arrested. Yeah, please. But I think you should. Do you, do, you, do you do karate? Do you? Yes, I did karate from the age of three. I do kickboxing now. I fight all the time. Last time I came, I had bruises on my face from a fight the week before. The woman kicked my ass. Why? I mean, because I hadn't, I hadn't been exercising like for six months. And I've always won every fight. And this one... Can yeah, you show me how you, how, you, how you kick? Can you show me how to kick? What? Just how how do you kick? Heels? You know, like... Oh, I'm wearing heels. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, to just, kick? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. God! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I can... I can. Punch. I didn't know you could kick sitting like that. I mean, it's... yeah. Oh, you can kick. Cool. Come on, lift your leg up. Mm, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, it's, it's a lot of fun to um, to kick people's ass. But yeah, oh it, gosh, it, it's kick just, people's ass. It's just, <laughs> but no, talking about this chap, I mean, and women in general, mm -hmm. and dealing with abuse and and you know, yeah, and, and covering and it, covering it, yeah, and, and covering whatnot. Up, yeah. It's very important that you speak up. Yeah, you know, if you can't, sometimes you're afraid to because you maybe you love him. Yeah, but, but most of these women feel like this is it. This is the this is the end. I can't extend myself. So I need, I need to stay. I need to stay in this bad situation because where, there's nowhere to go from here. Without realizing that you can start a book club, you can have a tea, something. You can do gardening. You can yeah, ride bikes. Anything. But you, you can know, do anything. The most important thing is not passing that on to your children. children. It's not about you then. You have to always think about your children because what they're seeing is what they will emulate. Yeah. You know, or what they will live with. with yeah. And I think that should be the first thought it's not about you it's yes, not about whether you're not going to make money you're not going to how to eat you know you will god will always give find and um, give you a way we always find a way somehow so please don't allow your children to see what you're living because yeah. it's just not fair on them that yeah. you knew you're unhappy yeah. with it's not fair yeah. on them
Yeah, Claudia, what's the one advice you give to young girls about, you know, just mm. extending themselves, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think, you know, all the things you're saying is a shame because it does happen. Yeah. And some of us are lucky because maybe of our upbringing or maybe what we've been exposed to. So we're able to be the strong women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so what I would say is, you know, you just really need to develop on you as a person. Mm -hmm. You know, if you develop you, the person, you will need, you know, an assurance from a man or you know yeah. from somebody, you somebody to, to complete yeah you. to complete you you know you just need to understand that it's about you if you have to go to school if it's a trade whatever you're doing you need to do it so well that nobody can you know push you over mm -hmm. or anything like that mm -hmm. so I think it's about developing yourself first and mm -hmm. then every other thing will fall in place yeah men are not marriage is not the ultimate yeah. really it's not yeah it's the last thing like and take it from a married woman I'm telling you marriage is the last thing on our you know I don't know for you but for me it's is the last thing on my mind it's a partnership it's a friendship and if you find a friend that's beautiful mm -hmm. but don't be thinking oh marriage oh I'm missus yeah. so what yeah you know please it's yeah. just a partnership. some of these young girls will say once I finish school I'm just gonna get, get married to a rich man I'll drive a nice car live in a big house pick a fence and that's it yeah you okay. know so I'm thinking but well, you're in school you're studying psychology and you're mm -hmm. not gonna use that to do anything yeah. Like, yeah. What's yeah. that? Well, well yeah. once I get a fine, rich man to marry me, what else do I need? Yeah. <laughs> and I have a, my Shame. oldest daughter, funny enough, Claude, the way yeah. you speak is very yeah. much like you. Yeah. And she started singing. Yeah. yeah. And she earns a great living. Yeah. She owns uh, two houses. Yeah. Buys, I mean, she's, yeah. she's so independent, Al yeah. and Alex. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I have number two, finished university, yeah. got a job as an accountant. She's working in London. Yeah. And she's getting to earning three figures now, and she's only 25. Bless her. And then now my son, who said is a pilot, now has his own business. Yeah. I mean, he just started it right from scratch. You, do, you, did, first year. You, you, you did great with your kids, Stephanie. I'm so proud of them. Yeah. So and 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 they don't like to take their clothes off like I do, but you know <laughs> they. But they, you know, I am their role model. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I just want them to be comfortable, to be independent, to be free. Yeah. And to be a little bit of Claudia without the bitch. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> Sometimes bitch is good. No, it's not good. A good bitch. <laughs> but yes, very much like with the strength and, yeah. and not needing a man. I yeah. think that's really beautiful because I'm yeah. a lot older than Claudia, so I can say that. Yeah. So yeah, and I think it's really yeah. important that she can, they could, you know. Yeah. And, I, I think, and then I think you with I, your artistic, um, you know, a combination of you two yeah. would be perfect. I, I think girl. it's always also good to reinvent yourself as a person, not just yeah. even as a woman or as a young girl, because yeah. you can't just stay doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. You need to find something else to do that would sort of challenge you. You know, yes. reinvention is good. It, it keeps you in the game. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and before I, you know, I cut you short, I have to say, I want them to find a black man like Claudia's husband, who, who's <laughs> like, because I think, I think it's really important that we find, because um, every time I talk about my husband, they'll say, oh, but he's white. <laughs> You know, so to find a man like um, your yeah, husband who yeah. is yeah. that way, so you, and he's so that and he's our Korean, men he's Ghanaian, like and he's that, African for who, that matter, yes. I mean, he's quite understanding. Absolutely, yeah. and that's yeah. important. And I just want to sort of um, say yeah. that if my husband okay. could. Let's see how extended you guys are. What is the latest dance out there? And if you can just bust the a move or two, the latest, the latest dance. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know the latest dance. Oh, How? No, Ladies. I mean, to know. I'm sick of that faking your song too. Everybody does that. And they all look like monkeys. I think you have to be really flexible to dance. Claudia, yeah, so you don't, you, you don't know how to dance? Are you no, not about? really. Let's all do the split. What? What? <laughs> you do the split and I we watch from the top. <laughs> we will do the split when we <laughs> take a walk outside. <laughs> split one. You can do the split. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll I do it on the really streets. People can see us when we do I that. I even want to open my legs and let a baby come out. <laughs> so, <laughs> split. <laughs> yeah. But I don't yeah. know the latest dance. Does anybody know the latest dance? I, I, uh, we can make one up. <laughs> okay, let's make a dance up. Let's make a dance up. I, I've seen you dance. I, I don't know how to dance, actually. Oh, yeah, you, you no, yeah. oh, she doesn't have to dance. She doesn't oh, have to have like hips. hips. You and, just and, have to shake. And, and the hips will do the dance for her. Yeah, okay, so, so uh, teach me the latest like. dance. I don't know the latest move. Okay, we'll teach we'll me something. Make move. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let Because I haven't got boobies anymore. Okay. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Just hold your waist. Okay. Swing to that side. Mm -hmm. Notice like you're breastfeeding. Ba, 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 ba.